Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujitsu Blitz. Today we're going to have a look at this tank, the Skoda T27, the latest tank to hit the store. It's a premium tank on the European line, tier 8, but guess what? It comes in a crate! Yeah! Now, aside from the fact I'm not a big fan of crates, I'm also not a big fan of anything below tier 9 or 10 going out into a crate, and this tank is in a crate. Okay, you get charms, but the thing is, you're going to need 25 charms to guarantee this little beastie. That means you've got to buy two. This is to guarantee it. You've got to buy two of the 10, that's $100. Then you need five of the others. That's about $125 all told. That's to guarantee the tank. Now, okay, it does have a 5% drop chance. The fact of the matter is, I mean, $125 for a guaranteed tier 8 really isn't a great deal. Well, not in my book anyway. Now, the tank itself isn't too bad. I mean, it's a pretty decent medium tank. It's an auto loader, not an auto reloader. And the K, it's, it's click load time, can be, well, pretty long. It dishes out reasonable damage for a medium. It's certainly not broken and it's certainly not OP. Gets you around the battlefield nicely. Its armor is pretty, pretty poor. It's not great armor-wise. It's got pretty decent gun depression. It's got a pretty decent gun. You know, I'd love to show you some really awesome games, but when I went out in it this morning, because I don't have it on my main account, I only have it on my press account, I had some really bad potato teams. So I really couldn't give you what you wanted. I mean, we do 3.5k in this game, but the team kind of lets me down, so we, we, get, we get nothing. Not really, because we lose. But as I said, I mean, the gun is pretty nice. As you can see, I'm not rolling it out with APCR. When I generally do a new tank review, I try to go out with just its standard ammunition. In this case, the AP and the AHE. And I, I didn't struggle in it, to be fair. But the thing is, I mean, what are you getting? I mean, are you getting something that's akin to the Progetto 46, which is an auto reloader at tier eight? It's also a premium and it's a medium. Well, no, you're not. You're getting nowhere near that. I mean, the Progetto 46 is a far, far better tank. And the chances are, it's a lot cheaper than this darn thing. In fact, if you do the battle pass, you have a chance to win one at the end in the crate. So, is this worth your while? Well, it's not for me to tell you how to spend your hard-earned cash. If you want to drop your money on, you know, trying to get this tank at a 5% drop rate, then that's up to you. But the thing is, are you getting anything that's really, really, really desperately needed? Well, no, not really. As I said, there's a Brigetto 46 out there, and that's a much better tank, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, this tank is not bad. I like it. It's okay. It's fun to play. It's a cool tank. But, and it's a huge but, I mean, the price and the fact it's in a crate really doesn't endear it to me. And therein lies the problem. Had this been in a crate for gold, then maybe my opinion would be slightly different. But it's not in a crate for gold. It's in a crate for real hard cash. And the bit of a drop chance of being 5%. You are going to spend money on this, guys. And as I said, to guarantee it, you're going to spend about $125. And I don't care who you are, by any stretch of the imagination, that is not a small amount of money for a tier 8 medium tank. The camo, however, is pretty funky. I do like that camo. The camo is cool. And I do like the tank, as I keep saying. I mean, the tank itself is okay. It's neither broken. It's neither OP. It's rather balanced. And I had some really good fun in it. Am I desperate to get this into my garage? Uh, no. Why? Well, I'm tight as uh, the butcher, to be fair. And therefore, you know, I'm not willing to spend $125 to guarantee the tank. I may get lucky, but that's the risk you take, and I'm never that lucky, to be fair. Ends the reason why I'm not splashing out on this one. Pretty much why I didn't splash out on the TS-5. Another tank that came in a crate at tier eight, and another tank that really doesn't bring anything different to the tier overhaul. And not only that, I found the TS-5 not exactly the most fun tank to play. 
And it's the same with this. I enjoyed it, I liked it, it was good fun, but I can have the same amount of fun in a Progetto 46. And therein lies my quandary. Don't get me wrong, I mean, it's great that we're getting new tanks in the game, but I really wish they would stop putting tier eights and things lower than that into crates because it's a false economy. Yeah, it's a great money earner for wargaming, of course it is. I mean, because people are gonna buy the crates and they're gonna drop real cash to get it. But you, the player, are you going to be satisfied? Are you going to be happy with your purchase? Well, with this one, I probably think you won't be, especially when you've still got the Progetto 46, a similar tank, and a lot cheaper. So guys, it's up to you on this one. Don't get me wrong, as I said, I enjoyed it, I, I, I had a good time in it, it's got pretty decent good, it's got a long reload, it's got pretty okay average damage, I mean, you're knocking, you know, 200 out each shot, so it's about 600, so maybe 700 per clip. That reload does hurt, however, but it has zero armor. Not really. I mean, in the games I played, I hardly bounced anything. Anyway, that's been my take on the Skoda T27, one of the latest tanks to hit the score in the dreaded crates. It's okay, it's not wrong, it's not bad, but it's up to you guys. Anyway, I've been Fujit. By all means, comment and everything below, and let me know your thoughts on this one. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.